Hey guys, alright, so this video is to just clear a few things that people are still completely confused about in 2016. Um, a while back I posted a Throwback Thursday on my Facebook fan page um, and I hashtagged it Tomboy. Um, it spurred so much confusion, like so much <laughs> confusion that it just made sense for me to make this video so that you guys can just understand the difference between tomboy and a lesbian. So it boggles my mind that in 2016 this is something that we still need to kind of speak to each other about um, and educate each other about, you know, especially when there are things like Google. If you're on Facebook, you can Google, you know, um, and if you can Google, that means you can read. So even if you don't have Facebook, you have dictionaries and people have dictionaries and the word tomboy is in the dictionary. So <laughs> it's um, a weird thing for me that people still don't understand. I posted this photo and I hashtagged it tomboy and a few people commented and were like, oh, so you're a tomboy and not a lesbian, thanks for the clarification. I, what? I, I don't know what you mean, I didn't clarify anything, I didn't, I, I didn't say, I just hashtagged tomboy because it's a, it's a, it's a characteristic, really. Okay, so let me put it this way. Um, you can Google, you can Wikipedia tomboy. All right, and basically what it is, it's like a girl who has characteristics that a boy would have. Um, it doesn't make her a boy, and it doesn't make her want to be a boy. It's not that hard. And the weirdest thing is that people who, when I looked at their profile pictures, they looked like tomboys, were asking me if I was a lesbian. Like, okay, are you a lesbian? You know, you look like a tomboy in your picture. Are you a lesbian? Wearing a tie, it's just... It's showing your masculinity. It doesn't even mean that you're gay. I mean, so many women do it. It's just like, you know, fuck the norm. I'm going to wear a tie. What are you going to do about it? You know, we, we've put ourselves into such boxes. We've made ourselves like these beings that have to be controlled by what everybody else thinks and says. Small idea. You're young. You're 10 years old. You're hanging out with the guys. You're, you're, you're rolling around. You're playing in trees. Uh, you constantly have like scars all over you. You don't really like, you know, Barbies and girly things. That's a tomboy. Doesn't mean you're a lesbian. It just means you're a tomboy. Um, okay? You can Wikipedia this, seriously. The unfortunate part of tomboyism is thanks to old um, Freud there, um, with Freudism and all of that in, in psychology, it was then seen that tomboyism could lead to lesbianism, which really isn't true, it, like, at all. Okay. Tomboy does not mean you're gay, and being gay does not mean that you're a tomboy. Um, you get femme lesbians, and you get butch lesbians, and you just get lesbians, really. Girls are like girls, and that's just what it is. So, yeah, for example, these girls are dressed up as tomboys. Um, and a tomboy is generally like, you know, um, you feel more comfortable in pants, you feel more comfortable in loose shirts, you feel more comfortable... Um, dressing like a guy, you feel more comfortable hanging with the guys. In some instances, some girly girls like hanging out with the guys, and you guys call them sluts, but they just, you know, get on better with the guys. That's not the point, I digress. These girls over here, dressed as tomboys, does not make them lesbian at all, okay? Um, it just means that they're tomboys. But these girls over here could be gay. Could be. Not are. Could be gay. You know, I guess, I guess it's just one of those things, like, you'll never truly know. Unless you have a gay doll, which most people don't have, you will never truly know if someone is gay or not. So, instead of assuming that all tomboys are gay, then just ask. You're a tomboy, so you have to be gay. It, it's, it's just, I mean, I know a lot of tomboys who are not gay. I know a lot of girls who skateboard, who surf, who hang out with the guys, who wear baggy pants, who enjoy being comfortable in the clothing that they wear instead of running around in skimpy skirts and high heels and their boobs all out there and they are as straight as a ruler like completely 
Like, has never, not, not once, have they even kissed a girl. Um, and then I know top boys who've swung on both sides, you know, played with girls, played with guys, prefer guys, like girls, confused about girls, you know, the whole shebang. And then I know top boys who are full on lesbian. So, it's just about understanding and not stereotyping. Well, okay, um, you're a girl, so you have to wear a skimpy skirt and have your tits, like, on your chin. And, and if you're a guy, you have to wear this way. But then, hold on, hold on, wait a second. If you're a girl and you're wearing a skimpy skirt, well then, <clears throat> you're a hoe. Like, society's confusing, so just do you and be you and just Google. Google, educate yourself, and when you think you know what you're talking about, because most of us actually have no idea what we're talking about, then say something on social media. And then when people have things to say to you, you can lash back at them with a little bit of knowledge instead of, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I was just, you know, no one has time for stupid questions. It's 2016, people. Educate yourselves. Like, that's it. So, you know, here I am in a shirt with this haircut. What you gotta say about that? Hmm? No one tells Ellen to wear a dress.